We've confirmed reports of increased ash density near Petty Ward. Return to base after collecting tissue samples from origami in the area. It's really thick here. Feeling any effects? Nah, I'm fine for now. This place ain't gonna be our grave. Let's get started. Stay sharp. the connection to the port. Maybe the relay's busted. Not surprising in ash this thick, I guess. Take what you can and let's go home. Don't thrash around, okay? No good loot again? Ugh. Man, there's been nothing recently. That's the price of your behavior. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> well, shall we get going? This is a caravan mm -hmm. calling all ages. What's that? There's an ash burn to be in the area. It's unpacked on Pennywood. An open channel? Who and where is that from? We can't make out what you're saying. What in... Huh? That's definitely an ash storm. And it's definitely headed toward our port. Damn it. Talk about some bad timing. There's no way we can outrun it from here. But what about everyone at the port? What'll happen to the kids there? Calm down. We'll manage something. We're not going to stand by and let our friends get wiped out. This is a caravan calling all ages. I repeat, this is a caravan calling all ages. There is an ash storm developing. Ages here. What's the status of the storm? We read you. We'll talk later. For now, we need you to clear out the origami in our path. Why should we do that? I said we'll talk later. Now hurry up and do it. If it's your fee, we'll pay whatever the cost. We don't have time to negotiate. We're on our way to evacuate the port. Every second counts. Understood. Moving out. There are aged children at the port who will need help. You have to get them out of there. I promise you we'll get them out. Good luck out there. Caravan out. I guess this is our chance. Come on. Everything changes, starting now. Whoa, that's intimidating. <laughs> right. Don't die on me now. We're going to live to see a new future. Everyone will. Oh, I wonder if they'll save the kids at the port. The 
There's only so much we can do. Stay focused, Zeke. I know, I know. Let's hurry up and get this done. Everyone who is left behind at the port is now under our care. Ricardo's information was spot on. It seems the ages who were left behind were all left inside a room like a prison. There were a number of young kids with them there too. It's awful. How could people have sunk so low? There. I've sent them the rendezvous coordinates. They're planning to meet up there. But, are you sure it was a good idea? Offering to pay any price if they clear the way? Probably. They don't strike me as the kind who would trade their lives for cash. Pardon me, but that's... not much of a strategy, ma'am. I know that. Change heading 180 degrees. Get as far away as we can, now! It's an ash storm! A pleasure to meet all of you. Welcome to our caravan. This is the Ashcrawler Chrysanthemum. 
I'm her owner, Hilda Enriquez. We made it in time, thank goodness. I'm Hugo Pennywart. Handling that origami problem wouldn't have been an easy task, even under the best of circumstances. And that means you're a talented bunch. Would you mind filling all of us in on the situation here? That will come in due time. You've created a real opportunity for us to work with. Won't you let me express our gratitude? You saved our friends. That's enough for me. Yes. However, that is only a temporary measure, as I'm sure you're well aware. Huh? Reassigning ages requires the permission of both the governor of the port and Gleipnir. You do know that, do you not, Hugo? If that's the reason you can't keep us all here, don't worry about it. Being alive is what counts. But do you really have to be so formal? Ma'am, we've completed our survey of the port that was swallowed by the ash. Despite our efforts, we have been unable to establish the whereabouts of the port's management. I'm sure they fled. I saw ships moving away in the distance. Hmm. That would explain it. There were some ships that made unregistered departures. Fools. Leaving without notifying anyone. If the ash storm drags them in... That's what they get for leaving kids to die. Zeke, don't. What? You're gonna tell me you're not pissed at him, too? Regardless, it still doesn't make me happy. Ma'am, the ash density levels are rising again. Staying any longer would be hazardous. You now represent your port, Hugo. Under Ashland Navigation Law, I place you under my protection and transfer you to our port. Understood. Our services are yours during the voyage. In exchange, though, we don't want your everyday drudgery tasks. <laughs> You've got a spine. Very well. You can be our front runners and keep our route free from interference. That's fine by us. Once we're out there, you'll see we're not your run of the mill ages. How a caravan route works? We use areas of low density as reference points, and then just travel along the connected dots? You've got it down. Just repeating what I learned from the database. There was an old but reliable route through here previous. The beacons, however, have all gone dead. Knocked out by that ash storm. This crawler has a pretty small crew for its size. I can't afford to hire very many people. Resources and bias factor supplies aren't what they- I see. So you decided to bring us on to do a little work for- Right, and I can assure you you'll be compensated. Yeah, well, a weekly allowance isn't going to cut it. If we can reestablish the old route, we'll be able to claim Pioneer royalties. A cut of those royalties will go to you. We're the ones who will be out there risking our necks, so I'd say 70% should go to- Huh. 30% for us? The rewards are split amongst the entire crew. That's outrageously- Well, what do you think? Let's see. 50%. I can't take any less. I know you've got some serious cargo. You're sure to rake in a hefty profit from that hill. <laughs> fine, fine. Half of the royalties. You're free to roam the crawler, though some locations may be restricted. We do have our secret. Compared to ourselves, it's paradise. Glad to have you all aboard. I'm looking forward to continuing our work together.
Welcome aboard the Ashcrawler Chrysanthemum. Let me introduce myself. My name is Amy Chrysanthemum, and I serve as an operator on this vessel. Um, so, this is the mission counter. We post tasks that need to be performed in order to clear our course. So, in short, you're saying if we want a job, then this is the place to go? Yep, that's right. In fact, it looks like something was posted just now. But we have a bit of a snag. A snag? That's right. Continuing on our course would be like crossing a rope bridge blindfolded. So what? You just walk forward. The snag is there's something chewing on the ropes. Caravans that conduct their operations within the Ashlands are invariably equipped with resonance radar. It tracks local ash levels and origami. It serves as our eyes and ears, giving us an advantage over potential threats. We have one on the mum, of course. Essentially, if our resonance radar isn't providing us... Switching to departure sequence. Energy flow from the main accumulator has been established. Now sealing ash bulkhead layers one and two. Resonance radar navigation link complete. Harmonization rate at 30, 60, 100%. Oracle sensor system is green. Ash density along our plotted course is 0.02 ppm with intolerance. The ash bulkheads are sealed, activating the whole bias field barrier. All systems are reading green. The chrysanthemum is ready to depart. There's no turning back now. Are you certain about this? Yeah. I never planned on turning back anyway. This is the start of a big adventure. We're more than sure. We're pumped. <laughs> It's good to see that kind of spirit. Ashcrawler Chrysanthemum, casting off.
Do you read me? I'll be your mission guide from here on. All instruments are green. Vitals are normal. All right, are you ready? Remember, the mission lasts until you're back home. Your first job starts now. Good luck. I could get used to this. It's a hundred times better than an old creep in my ear. <laughs> Sorry, it's a long story. Zeke, uh, make contact with secondary target and is in pursuit. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yes, I'm doing this. Yeah. This spot looks good.
What's this? I was just wondering if it's a common occurrence to find God Eaters from Gleipnir traveling with caravans. I suppose you're keeping an eye on some cargo back there, is that right? The area up ahead is under Gleipnir jurisdiction. I cannot allow you to proceed. Meaning that whatever you've got stowed up there is a special delivery for Gleipnir. Ugh! Are you okay? So tell me, what's your name? Gleipnir 6th Engineering Battalion, Special Transport Unit, Claire Victorious. You can just call me Hugo Pennywort. The owner told me about you. It seems you helped with clearing our route. Understand that while I do applaud the work you've done, I cannot approve of any frivolous actions you take in the field. Don't expect to garner any special favor for it. Great, a teacher's pet. <laughs> I'm only doing the job that I was assigned. If we're in combat together, I will be trusting you to perform. Huh? It... it was nice meeting you. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna get along after all. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Claire. Are you feeling all right, Claire? I'm fine. The ash density is within tolerance. Nothing to worry about. Even with the ash-resistant bias factor, you should still be careful. I appreciate your concern. Claire specializes in logistical support and first aid. Okay, team. Use teamwork and take down those origami. Wow, this is unusual. This is our first time out together. I'm counting on you. We'll do our best. Hugo, make contact with secondary targets and is in pursuit. Make contact with secondary targets and is in pursuit.
Excellent work. You were great out there together. You're better than I expected, Claire. Thanks. Be sure to rest oh, when you get back it. to base. I'd be real happy if this hit! I'd be real happy if this hit! Go get it! Don't worry about it. I'm just feeling a little motion sick. Oh, thanks. I'm not big enough to fight yet, but see? I can scrounge up cool stuff like this. Might as well get on with it. Failure will not be forgiven. No one around, huh? Not a surprise. Keep your eyes open, even if there were no enemies around. Watch out! 
On it. With all of your capabilities, you don't even need my support. <laughs> Feels like you've waited forever, but once things start moving, it all goes pretty quick. I mean, just look at where we are now. You remember what I was saying earlier? After all that time locked up, we're f And now our first problem rears its ugly head. What do we do with ourselves now that we're here? Close, but not quite. I made up my mind a long time. From this point forward, we're living in a world driven by action. We'll have to buy back our freedom by fighting.
Absolutely. After that, we'll build a port of our own. It'll be a place where people can help each other and work toward their dream. But I'm gonna need a lot of help from you. Are you on board for this? <laughs> We've got this. Seriously. This me Well, let's go give the kids the good news. They have nothing to be afraid of anymore. It might be a lie now, but it'll be okay if we make it the truth someday. Remember, you're my accomplice in all this. Let's make sure we see it through, huh? Instruments read normal. Go ahead and begin the operation. Another day, another job. Time to move out, team. Zeke made contact with secondary targets.
target and is in pursuit. Zeke made contact with secondary target and is in pursuit. Sure. Is this the place? Yes. Any visual? There! Claire, wait! <laughs> an age is on it, and an experienced one at that. Just stay back and provide support. What do you want? Let me speak with your commander. Ma'am, this is a video of their battle. An acceleration trigger. They've already got a practical model. Establishing a communications link with Hugo. Hilda, I'm putting our attacker on. She wants to talk. Go ahead. I am a Baron Age. Codename, Lulu. I was left stranded here by my vessel during a mission, and I am requesting transport back to Baron. You gave us a rather rough greeting, don't you think? I understand. I apologize for the incident. However, I intend you no harm. I'm not gonna take that one. You should know, I held myself back. It's the only method we're taught. First, I'll make contact with Baron to confirm your identity. It may take a little time to do that. I assume you can wait while I do? That's fine. We have a response from Baron. A 
According to their message, they say they have no record of an age named Lulu on their files. So, who is she then? <sighs> Amy, what's the ash density in this area? Checking. Um, 0 0.008 ppm. That will give us about 10 minutes. Open the hatch. I'll talk with her directly. Understood. Opening the... hatch. Wait, what? Hey, what the hell are you doing? He is a member of my crew. Could you do me a favor and let him go for me? I... I already told you, you're taking me to Baron. There doesn't seem to be an age named Lulu. Huh? I've searched every record we have, and contacted Baron as well. But everywhere I check, I get the same result. No person named Lulu exists. That... No, that can't be right. I, I mean... I was just on a mission. I'm sorry, but you're... I see. So... what the heck's going on? I... I've been... cast aside.